Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is in the light heavyweight division. Your referee in charge is Frank Santor Jr. Introducing to you first, fighting for the Los Angeles Matadors, out of the blue corner, wearing the black with gold. He weighed in at 182 and one half pounds. With a World Series of boxing record of one win, no losses that win, coming by way of knockout from Salvador, Brazil, the two-time Brazilian national champion. Please welcome Elber Elegante Passo. Two-time national champion from Brazil. He knocked out his first and only fight at Mexico City. He knocked out Christian Montenegro, TKO in three. Won a recent bronze medal at the Cadet World Championships held at Camp Lejeune. He's a strong fighter, strong light heavyweight. He, he is a, a natural light heavyweight. This is it's a weight that he's he's not going to be going up and down. This is where he's belonged all along. And, and now from your Miami Gallos, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue with red, he weighed in at 183 pounds with a World Series of boxing record of one win and one loss from Dublin, Ireland, the 10-time Irish national champion, the 2008 Olympic silver medalist, he is Kenny Egan. He was cut in the very first home opener against uh, Dorian Anthony of Los Angeles. And so he didn't get back in the ring. That was in November until January 30th. And then he lost a split decision to a very, very good fighter, Slava Shabransky in LA, the Hungarian. And so Kenny comes in with great international competitions, a professional amateur, if you will, Olympic silver medalist in 2008. He wants to go back again, see if he can't get a gold. Loves it at the Olympics. He uh, still looking for that gold. The uh, real amiable young man, unless you're fighting him, <laughs> he's got a, uh, a plan of attack. Take a look at Elber Passos. Here we go, let's go. Final instructions coming up. All right, guys, you got your trunks high, so it blows here. He's going to be fair. He's got his trunks low, so keep him above that belt line. Questions? Questions? Good luck, guys. Frank Santor, and here's how these two stack up on the head to head. It is uh, the same age, the same height, a little bit of difference in the experience, and uh, you can see their weights. Here we go, round one, final fight of the evening, light heavyweight. They saved uh, Kenneth Egan for last tonight to close out the show here and close out the season. Like I said, we didn't get to see as much as we wanted to. He is a southpaw. He's got a, he's got a very tough customer in there. Look at that cut and that build of El Passos. He is a very strong fighter out of Brazil. We're going to have a trying, I tell you, I've, I've looked at these Brazil fighters from Brazil. They're really good. They, they hit hard. They have good movement in the ring. They have good all-around skills. Jab, cross. They do the basics well. You know, three some heavy punches in there. These are light heavyweights. Egan with a good com combination. One, two. Jab and the cross. And Kenneth again. Jab and cross. You, you kind of wait like he does, waiting for the opponent to... to Move in into range and then you hit him with a one two. Nice work. That's straight right hand, left hand, excuse me, there left hand lead right there. He's found something he thinks might work here. Well, when you're left handed and you're fighting someone that's right handed, there's an opening right between you split those gloves right down the middle, right down the pike. You can throw a straighter punch because of the way they stand. They're vulnerable for that. Well, the same is true for the left handers. If you're a right hander, you throw that real straight right hand. That is your bread and butter punch. Good counter right there for Vegan. That's what he likes to do. Good counter puncher. A little wobble. Elmer Passos. Is he hurt? Well, that was a good counter on him. He might have been. I know I would be. <laughs> Egan look how, look taking a very, yeah, a very surgical approach, accurate. I was about to say. The Egan is, when he throws, he lands. No, no wasteful Ooh. punches. Bingo. Wow. Whoa, and another, another wobble. wobble. Passos Very just walked right into one, right on the button. The left hand. Egan could close out the season in a big way if he can do that. What a difference in Egan, too. Look at this accuracy. He's got the, the efficacy of a skilled marksman with these shots right on the button. He's wobbled him twice. And it's only the first round. All up hill for here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
And this pressure from Passos, either get all the way in or get all That's the way out. That's what I'm about out. to say. He's, no He's having trouble Stand, finding the range. Standing right at the wrong. You know, 90% of the power of the punch is right on the end, that final snap, that crack. You know, like when you hit a baseball and it's right when you, everything comes together, all your muscles come together at the same force, Ooh. same time. Look at that accuracy, Egan, we're talking about. Passos. Not a good distance that he's at right Excellent now. Excellent first round. Headbutt. Oh, yep. Yeah. That was Didn't take long. Yep. Righty lefty. And Egan had his hand down properly, and Bossos unfortunately got the worst end of that, I believe. You skate. It's my leg. Hold my stones. What's your name? My name. Wow. It's Keith Stone. Oh, Keith Stone, you're so smooth. Always. Keystone Light is always smooth, like Keith Stone. How to choose car insurance without feeling like you've been ripped off. Take identical cars. One covered by Geico, the other by 21st Century. Then you file the same claim. Let's say, uh, theft. Both are covered, both get new stereos. But drivers who switch to 21st save around $474 a year. Now that's a steal. Call 800-709-7910. 21st Century Insurance. The same great coverage for less. Want a chance to place a $100,000 bet at this year's Kentucky Derby? Register to win at NBCSports.com slash DreamBet. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Maybe you should go to your shelter and get a mature dog. Who will make your blues disappear. How's that for tricks? I got picked. Wow. So here are the keys. Congratulations, it's officially yours. I'm sure you'll have many happy years here. Except for you, because you'll be gone three years from now, struck down by the same disease that got your father. So you won't be around for them. And sadly, it could have been detected early with a simple test, but you didn't have it. Okay, who wants to check out the backyard? For a list of tests every man should have, go to ahrq.gov. Hey, doing what you're doing. Doing what you're doing. All right, Angel, come around this side. They're asking for Angel Nazario over there. There's a look at the. There's a cut right there. Do you see it in the eyebrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bad place for a cut, too. It is not bleeding, though. Small cut right at the end of the round when they both were attacking. Right at the, it looked as though Passos wobbled a couple of times in that first round because of punches like that. There's a good, sharp, straight left hand from Egan. And this uh, looks like the two rammed, right there. rammed heads together. Bingo. And look at Egan's heads down, Passos heads up. Round number two in the light heavyweights, we have a cut in the brow, left brow of Elber Passos. Kenny Egan survived that clash of heads, I believe, without a cut. He suffered one in oh. November. Ooh, oh, nice left can hand. Can you hear that? Wow. You know, you got to pepper that le that right hand if you're Egan. Get that right hand working because that jab is going to land right on that cut, right on that eye. You're also taught to spin your fist right at the point of contact, right at the end. Oh, Egan just got caught with a right hand. He's in trouble going backwards. Big time. Right Flash on the right chin. hand on the chin. He's holding on now. He was staggered. Vulnerable to that puncher southpaws. And when you hit him with a right, real straight right hand, the boxing gym, they do neck exercises to prevent that from happening. When you get hit high on the head, you don't want your neck flying. You know, your head flying like a, an ooh punch. Straight left from Egan. It's a whole different world for him. You know, 10 time oh. Irish champion, but that's an amateur with headgear and whatnot coming into this series. It's been rough on him. Oh. Got cut. 
just gotten better. Look at him, look at him zeroing in on that, that eye up there. Remember, a little bit of a cut on Passos' left eye. Passos has been effective that. with the right hand. A little right hook, but we usually works pretty good on a lefty. Did you hear that? Yep. Who did? So did yeah, so did Egan. He didn't want to get hit by those. Round two scheduled for six. Kenny Egan from Ireland in the blue trunks. Scheduled for five. The they'll, they'll probably throw punches like they're scheduled six for, rounds. Excuse me. Scheduled for five. <laughs> Body shot by Passos right there. Oh, that's good work. That is good work from Elber. The that jab punches. Work. Yeah. Get that jab work. Look at the focus in Kenny's face. Look at his eyes. You can see it. He knows right where he's going. Watch out with those hands down like that. Well, right hand worked the right hook over the top of the gloves right there. Also seems to be Passo just got caught by yeah. the right hand. He's wobbled. Huh. Egan looking to close it out if he can. That's what a champion does. You get a guy in trouble, you go after him. Egan looking to knock out Passo's right. Passo has gone down. Frank well, Satori's going to give him a count. One late shot in there. Good work, and look at that focus from, from Egan. Passos is ready to Passo. Passos got a get, standing A. You gotta get right on top of him. Egan's the window's get right open. on top of him. The still window's wobbly. open here. He's still wobbly. Egan's gonna go to work. Frank Santori, look how close he, he is. Knockdown. There's a knockdown. Gonna give Santori. a count. That's it. That's it. Kenny Egan gets a TKO wow. here. TKO, great job by, by Saint Frank Santori. And also Manny Robles, that's seen enough, that's all. Good job by them. They want to protect these kids as much as they can. And the towel came in and the fight is over. That's a great, great job from, from Manny Robles. What, you know, your, your kid's getting hurt up there. Kenny Egan, what? What? He does have a cut on the top of his head, but he doesn't care right now. What a job he did tonight. Man, he looks so good. There's the doctor in the, in the ring. Passos. Passos going to the right hand, and the they right got Kenny hand. in trouble. What a great round. Made him mad, and then Kenny Look at this. refocused. He walked right into that. Smack. And it almost knocked him out. Wobbled him, and back comes Kenny Egan with these the right hand. Look. There's a right hand right, right there. Boom. And wobble. You know, he'd been wobbled a couple of times. We saw in that first round where two times... Passos had got wobbled from that strength and that power, but here it is at the end, and right here, On Frank Santoro says that's all. Corner, referee, the corner Frank towel Santor came in Jr. as well. Stops this contest at two minutes, 47 seconds of the second round. Your winner by technical knockout from the Miami Guyos, Kenny Egan. All I can say is what a night for the Miami Guyos to come in here. They've been the doormats of the league. And they come in here against the guys that are going to move on to the championships and win four out of five matches, closing the show on the season. Thank you, Kenny Egan, for doing it in grand fashion with a TKO of Elber Passos at 247 of the second round. Let's get a couple Irishmen together here and get the reaction of the way the season just concluded. That was fun. Thanks, Alan. I got a guy up here doing the river dance. Check this out. How about that, Miami? Did you get a knockout in tonight's fight? What did you see that made you want to go in there and take take the KO? Um, I heard him in the, in the second round, the start of the second round, and I heard my coach shouting, stay there, stay with him. So we stood with the guy, and we traded a few shots that I was the stronger. I think you heard, you heard him twice in the first round, too. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. I, I knew I hurt him, but in the second, I really caught him and I wobbled him. And the coach said, stay there, mix it with him. And that's exactly what I done. What did you learn in this fight, Kenneth? It's all about picking your shots. You know, it's all about finding weaknesses in your opponent. I'm learning. Every day I'm learning in the gym. This is all new to me. As I said, I've, I've boxed an amateur for 20 years. This is new. Sorry, I'm spitting on your lovely green shirt. <laughs> but, uh, I know you're excited, and I'm excited for you, too. You know, it is a different, it's a different type of fight in this match. You have learned, too. You look like a different fighter tonight. How much have you changed? I'm learning to stand a little bit more and put some power in my shots, whereas before, it was just all about scoring points with the computer system. But I need to stand and trade now. It's about power, it's about aggression. 
as well just letting the shots off now. Well, this is not going to make you like a like a KO go and force the knockout or anything, is it? No, no. As I said, I'm I'm actually well schooled. I've been learning the, the, the box since I'm eight years of age, and I'm still learning. So you know, I'm not going to change my style. I'm just going to no. stick to what I'm doing now, and hopefully it'll bring me through next year. This is only a start to four seasons, so hopefully we can improve next year. Well, I tell you what, I love it, and you know what? You were listening to your corner perfectly. They were telling you the right things to do, and you 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 uh, you, you kind of felt that they pulled you through this fight, don't you? Definitely, the coaches got me through. I want to say hello to all the Irish in the crowd and the brother Tony in the down there. On the Irish! <laughs> uh, there's a lot of Irish in Miami. All right, I love it. That's it, way to go. Kenneth Egan gets the victory in a KO fashion. What a knockout this guy is, Alan. Yes, he's learned a lot in this series. He brought up a very good point that kind of puts a, a period on the, the whole year. Talking about how he fought in the computer system, but he found out when you come out here in the World Series of Boxing, you got to change your style. you got to put some emphasis on those punches. you got to turn those punches over. You're fighting a 10-9 system. And what a way, what a way to close the year with a second-round TKO by one of the stars of the league. Four to one was the final tonight as the Miami Gallos close out the year on a really positive note, taking care of the champion LA Matadors, four to one.